All veterinarians need to first learn their skill in school. We are so fortunate to have here in Massachusetts an outstanding veterinary college in Grafton at the Cumming School of Veterinary Medicine at Tufts University. We will meet an emerging new doctor going through her coursework, experience some of the clinicians in action behind the clinic doors, and meet Dean Kochiever. I think the best thing we have going at the School of Veterinary Medicine are the people who work here not only the faculty and staff, but the students. And I say they work here, but they're obviously also our students. So we get a very talented group of uh, applicants to the veterinary program. They come not only from Massachusetts, half of our class comes from Massachusetts and the other half from across the country, but they're very well qualified, very motivated, bring lots of interesting background experiences. So we get people not only that are pre-veterinary, but also folks who come from second careers, who've come back that were engineers, that were musicians. So we have a diverse pool, um, and we love to encourage a diverse pool. Our faculty and staff um, also come with a, a wide range of talents. We have four different clinics. We have uh, our main teaching hospital, which is, uh, houses both our small animal and our equine enterprise. We have our food animal facility that's in Woodstock, Connecticut. And then we also have a wildlife clinic, which is kind of a unique feature of our school. And then we also have a, a, a specialty practice in, in Walpole that is run by the school, but uh, our students train there as well. And so all of our faculty and staff that run those different facilities come with specialties that range from uh, large animal surgery to anesthesia to radiology to emergency critical care is an enormous uh, area that we have at the school. It's a, probably the largest training program in the country for small animal emergency medicine. So the people that power all that, and of course the staff are there every step of the way in all those areas, they're really what make the school special. Really the reason that I'm at Tufts is to teach. I can do the medical part of my job a lot, a lot of other places um, at a big referral hospital, but I'm pretty active in the second, third, and fourth year of their curriculum. I teach them about things like antibiotics and electrolytes early on, and um, once they get to fourth year, it's more of a one-on-one -on -one situation or small group teaching, where we're really trying to teach them the skills that they need once they graduate. On a weekday, we average about 30 to 40 emergencies. On weekends, we can see as many as 50 to 60. And we're really lucky that we have such a big caseload because it gives us a lot of uh, patients that we can teach with. And so we never lack for patients when it comes to teaching our students. To get into vet school, it's pretty intense. Um, I went to University of New Hampshire, which lines it up very well and tells you what you need to take. Um, and you just take a lot of core science classes, a few animal science classes, but mainly organic chemistry, biology, chemistry, um, everything you can think of in that respect. Now that I'm in school, what is the curriculum like? It's very, very intense, and undergrad cannot in any way <laughs> prepare you for that. The first year is a lot of, again, more core-based science classes, like gross anatomy and physio, and. Um, physiological chemistry, things that get you prepared for understanding how the body systems work. And now that we're in third year, we get to do a lot of clinical, hands-on, more of the fun stuff. Today started at 8 o'clock um, with Dr. Matsis teaching us to do a mare palpation lab. Um, we did uh, rectal and vaginal palpation of a mare and took cytology and um, culture samples looked at those under the microscope and we just finished that. And then we have um, zoological medicine from one to three and then theriogenology from three to five. And that's a typical third year day. You pretty much go to class from eight in the morning until five at night. They work your way into it. First year you feel like it's so hard, but you actually look back and you're not really going to that long of classes. And then second year is a little bit more and third year you're ready for it by then, I think. Well, I've been teaching here since uh, about 1994. Large animal medicine, mostly um, uh, farm animals, dairy cows and horses, small ruminants, sheep and goats. And most of our students have not had much experience with those uh, type of species. So it's a great chance to teach them uh, as much as I know about large animal medicine, farm animal medicine, and to see them become um, enthusiastic about actually going into that type of practice. So few of our students actually go into large animal medicine, so that's uh, very uh, gratifying to see. And it's just knowing that um, many of these will, students will go on to do um, great things as they graduate. And having been a part of that is uh, um, my small reward. 
A veterinary degree gives uh, lots of latitude. It can be from small animal to large animal, can be even in government relations, can be uh, with very, uh, from the smallest of animals of lab an animal medicine uh, to the largest in zoo animal medicine. Uh, it, it involves a lot of things that uh, protect the human health uh, such as meat inspections, zoonotic diseases, things of that nature. So uh, veterinary medicine encompasses a, a, a whole realm of, of areas. Loving animals is the number one first minimal uh, requirement for going into this profession. But there's an awful lot more that goes into it besides just loving animals. There's incredibly uh, detailed science hard work, long hours, dedication to a career that um, is, is quite consuming of your lifestyle. Um, so get to know what the profession's really all about beyond just the fact that we love animals and get to spend time with animals.